All right, inverters. Now, inverters you have, you have on-grid, off-grid, and hybrid inverters. Ours is a hybrid inverter. What that means, a hybrid inverter, it runs on DC power, and it has AC power input also. So in my commercial panel here, I have a breaker that pumps electricity out and into these wires right here. So on this, for my setup, it might be different on yours, but on my setup I need 110 volt AC, 110 volt AC, so I have now 240 volts AC. No neutral comes into this. The neutral does not come into here. The ground does, okay, but no neutral. The machine will create the neutral for the output. So on the output side, I have 110, 110, the neutral, and then this ground is just a chassis ground. So in case something in, in case something in here shorted out, you're not gonna get zap touching it, right? It'll short it out and pop the surge protector. Down below are the, the breakers for the outputs. Okay, and then there again, I have another 400 amp breaker feeding this so I can shut it off and get into my batteries or do something and break it up. Okay, and then here's your on-off switch, your display. So this is a hybrid system. Well, then my output, sorry, my output then goes over to my sub panel that I put in that has all the emergency, a lot of people call it emergency. I call it just what I want to run on solar. All of this stuff in my house is on this solar system. And the inverter, like I said, is 18,000 watts. It's usually running at about 6% of what it can do. When I turn on the pool pumps and start running the koi pump and all that, it might jump up to 12%. At night, when the hot tub runs and the water heater kicks on at 5 o'clock in the morning, and the hot tub's running from 4 to 5.30 in the morning, it might jump up to about 36%, which is when it burns my batteries at night. Okay? So in the winter, in the winter, these batteries aren't going to last because if I start running heaters in the house, they're not going to last. So I'd love to have one more. So anyway, back up here to this inverter. Okay? So it's a hybrid inverter. When these batteries go dead or get close to being dead the inverter will automatically flip the um, generator called the generator switch but the switch to start pulling power from the commercial power line that i put in these two right here right it'll start using the onboard charging system in here which can go up to 100 amps on this machine It'll start pumping power back out of these DC um, lines here and back into the batteries to charge these batteries if my solar is not running. I mean, if there's no sun or if there's snow up on the roof, basically the AC will kick in and charge the batteries via the charger. That is a hybrid inverter and it just works great. Mine this is a no frills just a power creating bad boy there is no i mean there's no app for it there is no bluetooth connection no wi-fi connection for this is just it creates power and that's all i wanted something to create power um now if you have an on-grid system with just it just basically you have panels up on your roof and then you have an inverter creating the power straight from the roof. Like these are coming straight from the roof right here, right? From the combiner boxes. So you'd have power straight off the roof going into an inverter, creating AC. And then you have a, a disconnect switch that is accessible from outside. So if something happens, PG or your commercial power fireman can shut it off. So you're not energizing the lines going out in the street, okay? So an on-grid inverter does not need com um, charge controllers because you do not have batteries, okay? 
An on-grid inverter is only creating power for you to sell or trade back to your commercial power company. Um, and one thing about that, two things about that actually, here where we are, we have Portland General Electric for our power company. They give you credits. So basically your inverter is making power, you're selling it back to the, the commercial power company. They give you credits to apply towards your power bill, which is a great way to go. Nothing wrong with that. Here, every year, they wipe your credits clean and they give them to the people that can't pay their power bill as a donation, basically. So you're creating power if you have everything left over in March, I think it is here, the default month that they cut you off and start you new. If you don't have, I mean, if you have some credits left, they wipe them out. So you start fresh, okay? That's the first problem with it. The second problem with it is, is if you have on-grid, you have on-grid um, solar system, you are producing power, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, my, my stuff's up here producing. A windstorm comes along and blows down the power. A car wreck happens and knocks down the poles. Something happens, okay? If something happens, they shut off your power. So your house has no commercial power. Well, guess what? They actually shut off your inverter also. So if the inverter does not see commercial power, it shuts off because it cannot put power out on the lines going backwards if there's a problem. So let's say there's a lineman out working on a line. He grabs a power line that's sitting on the ground. He thinks it's dead, but it's actually getting power from your house. That is why they shut it off. So if the power goes out, you have you still have no power even though you have a solar system you have no power okay then the last option is off-grid now an off-grid system has your solar system you can have batteries or not have batteries obviously though if you're off-grid and the sun's not up and you have no batteries as soon as the sun goes down you have no power okay so an off-grid system you're probably going to want a bank array, uh, a <coughs> bank array. Yeah, you're going to want a bank array for sure. You're going to want a bank of batteries to get you through the night. Okay. Now, like I say, my system can create, my solar system can create 17,000 watts of power per hour. But if the sun's not up, they aren't doing nothing. Okay. So a off-grid system. If you can tie it in also with a wind generator or a hydro um, water wheel or something that is running 24-7, a water wheel 24-7, wind, if it's windy, you get a little something out of it, it's gonna, you're going to benefit from it. Because right now, mine creating 17,000 watts every morning, that commercial power kicks in and starts charging with my hybrid system here, starts charging these batteries. So what I did to combat that a little bit is on the bottom of this, I, there's a dial up there that says how much power you want to put out that charger to charge these batteries through the commercial power. Now, that is just commercial power. These are wired directly to it and charging it as soon as the sun comes. Like right now, it's giving them, that one's got 482 watts, 689, 344, 581 like I said, the sun is behind a tree. So that's those are creating power right now, charging those batteries. And this is running off of the batteries and the solar chargers, okay? But in the morning, at say 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whenever these batteries go dead, commercial power kicks in. But I have it turned down. It could go to 100 amps for a fast charge, but I turned it all the way down to 20 amps, 15 to 20 amps, something like that low as I can get it so it basically just trickle charges these batteries while the sun is coming up and these can kind of join in and help to charge these batteries okay but in doing this hooking my hot tub to it and my water heater which were about four dollars a day to run on commercial power um well let's see let's let me go back my house was taking 12 to 15 dollars a day to run it um during spring okay i took everything off and so the only thing on my commercial power now 
is the oven, the dryer, and the dishwasher that we're using right now. And it went from 12 to 15 dollars a day down to 250 to 350, four dollars a day. Even with it, even with commercial power kicking in to charge in the morning, if I don't have a lot of sun, we've had the last week we've had very little sun. We've had a lot of rain. We're here in Oregon, so we've had a lot of rain. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on. This is our inverter class. Uh, I've got questions. I'd be happy to answer them if I know the answer. Anyway, thanks, guys. Have a great day.